Back now with navigating the workforce during the pandemic. It can be a challenging time. We all know this. But women in the U.S., they're losing more than 5 million jobs. We caught up with three determined women looking for the secrets to resetting their job search and the career coach helping ladies get paid. On the hunt for a job, you are not alone. Hey, I'm Alicia, and I'm coming to you live from a place that I often do conference calls. My three-year-old's toddler bed. For mom, Alicia Zucker, searching for a job during the pandemic has had its share of challenges. I really care about corporate culture. How do I figure this out during a remote interview? My pandemic job search. What a roller coaster. Kelly Becker has her own questions on finding a job that's the best fit. I've been unemployed over 270 days. I've put in over 500 and some applications. How should I reset my job strategy? And for Tamaya Eatman, there's a real sense of urgency to getting back into the workforce. I have a goal to find or land my dream job in the next 60 to 90 days. So, any tips? The unemployment rate hitting an unprecedented 14.8% last April, before declining to a still elevated 6.7% in December, with women losing 5.4 million jobs since the start of the pandemic, experiencing the majority of pandemic-related job losses. There are changes, serious changes with serious consequences that we need to address if all of us, and not just women, are going to succeed. Claire Wasserman, author of the new book, Ladies Get Paid, has made it her mission to help women overcome barriers in the workforce. GMA matching Claire up with our viewers for one-on-one -on -one advice. This is a fantastic time to really dig into your values, your goals, your priorities. And for job seekers, tapping into new strategies could be key to getting the job. And Claire Wasserman joins us now. You're so cute. When I mentioned your book and the piece, you went, yay! You start clapping for yourself. I know it's so exciting when you see it on GMA like that, but it's a great book and you're really helping a lot of people like the three women that we just profiled. It's different out there right now. So how can we all hit the reset button when it comes to a job search? Thank you for having me. And yes, I was going like this. <laughs> um, listen, this is a really hard time for women. And the first thing I want everybody to remember watching right now, you are not alone. Here's my silver lining though. This is a great time to really reflect and possibly reset. I wanna make sure that you are going in a direction. Like I said, it has to be aligned with what you deeply want and, and sort of truly need in your life. Uh, but once you've done that, I want you to do an inventory of your online presence, right? How are you coming across? And this includes your resume, of course, uh, but you need feedback. Feedback can be tough to get. So mm. think about who are you going to ask to get a little bit of perspective. Uh, but hold on, before you even submit your application, this can be really overwhelming, right? We saw that with Alicia, a lot of days that she's been unemployed. Um, so let's get organized. Let's get organized. Let's set some goals, uh, but break those goals down into mini goals. Otherwise, you're not going to reach them. Uh, and, and part of that is how are you going to hold yourself accountable? And I think most importantly, how are you going to reward yourself, right? Mm. Again, this can be really, really tough. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention about resetting your job strategy is get some, get some support. All right, 75 to 80% of jobs are actually filled internally or through networking. So I would have you go ahead, reach out to people who work at the company so that they can advocate for you on the inside. That's all great advice. How about the virtual interview. It's so difficult for a lot of people. So what suggestions do you have to help with our skills virtually interviewing? Well, first, you want to look good. I talked about <laughs> this with Tamaya. We've got to get the lighting, the setup. You better believe I have all the light rings around me. Um, also, you only have this little box to work with. So my question to you is, how are you going to convey your personality? I got my pink blazer. You see, I took my time setting up the background. <laughs> um, so that's that's the first step. Second step is, and I'm trying to do this right now, energy, bring energy, right? Gesticulate, hands, if you need to do this before you get on. Again, all the things that I just did. Uh, I want you to talk about your wins, but not just sort of, you know, what you did, but also how you did it. Use language that's in the job description. Use language that the company puts on their website about their company culture. Uh, but like I said, you have to tie it to your impact. It's yeah. always, always about the bottom line. How have you made the company money? 
That could include how you saved the company money. We know that women are good multitaskers, we're efficient. Uh, so you definitely want to talk about that. Uh, it's also about how you did it, because that's going to show who you are, your process, how you think, your potential. Tell that story, um, you know, because again, they're hiring you to, to be part of a team. Yeah. So what's the team dynamic going to look like with you? This is the time to talk about it. Only have 15 seconds left. You know, there are a lot of people that are getting discouraged. They've been out yeah. there for this. So how, how can we stay motivated? First, I think too often times we see our jobs as a, a measure of our worth. Um, so when we don't have one, it really hits our self-esteem. So please use this time to take care of yourself. Also, if you're not getting the job you want, can you create the job that you want? Okay, this could be a time to start a side hustle or maybe support someone else's. This is gonna keep you motivated and also maybe give you something to talk about during the interview. Oh, beautiful. Hey, Claire, congratulations on the book and thank you so much for offering your tips and advice. And I wanna let everybody know that you can find more tips from Claire on our website and her book, Ladies Get Paid, is available. Now. It's on the Jumbotron right now, Claire. Oh, you're on the Jumbotron with the book. Congratulations again. Oh, I love to see that when that happens. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.